What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to talk about Detroit's 20-game win streak, and uh, as I put it on the line tonight, make, try to make it uh, 21 blackjack against the uh, Dallas Stars. I figured I'd make that joke with the Texas team coming to town. Um, let's dish on the numbers. I got them on the NHL.com, and it's pretty mind-boggling. You know, the last team to won 20 straight games was, was the Flyers in the 70s, and then the Bruins in, I think, the, the 20s or 30s for that. Uh, there's a little asterisk, and I don't mean to take anything away from the Red Wings on this, but you know, there was no overtime or shootouts back then, you know, so the, the 20 games uh, at home by Philly and the Bruins back in the day, uh, the ties were in there, so there was, every game now there's a winner. Um, back then there were ties, so that kind of spews it, but uh, still a tremendous accomplishment for the Red Wings and obviously a world-class organization that they have out there in Detroit, and, uh, you know, just it's amazing um, what they've been able to accomplish. I can't put it into words, um, you know, Valtteri Philpola, 21 points in 20 games. Uh, Jimmy Howard, four goals. 25 points for Pavel Datsuk during the streak. Uh, only 30 goals allowed. They've scored 84 goals on home ice. You know, that's over four a game. You know, four coaches, four teams have changed coaches during the streak. Um, Johan Franzen scored five goals in the 20 game, five game winning goals uh, on during the streak. Um, the last team to beat them was the Calgary Flames on November 3rd, 4-1. Uh, I mean, look at what that's like. You think he's like, wow. Um, how much has changed in the NHL since then? You know, like I said, four, four teams have changed coaches. You know, back then, looking at the Bruins, they were stuck in the doldrums, and they've been on fire since then. Uh, they're a point behind the Rangers right now. The Wings are for the top spot in the NHL in the first in the Western Conference. And, um, you know, Detroit every single year is a threat to win the Stanley Cup, and this year is no different. Um, you know, they've got a tremendous, t tremendously talented team. They play their system, and uh, Jimmy Howard on any given night could stop anything. You know, he's been banged up lately, but, um, you know, they'll be back for the playoffs. They've won three times in a shootout. Like, that's what it, that's going back to the um, thing. The shootouts have kind of aided that, but I'm, I'm really not taking anything away from the, the wings. Um, Thomas Holmstrom played his thousandth game during the streak uh, last week. All that. Last week in Anaheim, and uh, during win number 19, uh, during the 20th game, Nick Lidstrom played his 1500th and 50th game, 1550, uh, making him the uh, NHL's all-time leader in games played from one team. Um, wow, Ian White's plus 20 during the streak. Detroit defenseman have scored 19 goals. Um, Nick Lidstrom has 15 points. Jesus, you're looking at this going to yourself. They they've been unstoppable. And I, I I saw them play on the road. The the wings they got the win at the Garden, but um you know I, I really can't put into words what they've done. And uh, hopefully tonight, kind of like Dallas, but uh, gotta give Detroit the edge in this one. You know they're gonna they're gonna make history tonight, and uh, become the greatest team on home ice possibly ever. You know and like I said, it's a hot the Joe Louis Arena is a hot place for opponents to play and win. Uh, they've proven that in the playoffs many times. And I think this could be the year Detroit comes out of the West. Um, you know, hope hopefully it's them and the the Bruins or even the Rangers that I'm at to have all original six finals. But um, be pretty sweet. Uh, that's it for this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Detroit Red Wings 20 game win streak going on the line tonight. 20 game home win streak. Uh, actually, a little fun fact: the longest uh, win streak in NHL history is 17 games accomplished by the 1993 Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, they didn't win the cup that year. They, that, they're going for the three peak and got upset by the Islanders. But a uh, little fun back for you guys. Uh, that's it. Um, talk to you guys later. And stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season. Later, guys.